Hello, Tomasio here. Mary is the New Evangelization. Check out the website, marysthenewevangelization.com. And I think the time of being a nice guy is over. I think, really, we have got something that is very fierce going on in as far as the spiritual battle is concerned. And there's a time to be a nice guy, and then there's a time to fight for Jesus Christ. Okay, this is the time to fight for Jesus Christ and to fight for the truth. Now, what I'm going to address right now is the Franciscan <clears throat> communities. Franciscans are Catholics who are supposed to be following the life of Jesus as lived out through St. Francis of Assisi. Okay, so who's St. Francis of Assisi? Well, he was a rich Italian guy from a wealthy family, Catholic, but nominal Catholic, who got disillusioned with fighting wars, came home from the war, why his buddies were still fighting, just started just searching, wandering around, and came across a cross found in an old, torn-down church. It's called the San Damiano Cross, and he claimed that this cross talked to him and told him to rebuild the church. So he stole from his dad, and he started rebuilding the church. His dad turned him into the bishop. He stripped naked in front of his father, in front of his mother, in front of the bishop, gave his clothes back to his dad, and said, I have no father except God. Okay, so the bishop covered him up. Francis then went and lived as a beggar and basically an outcast. And I guess that's when he really sought the Lord, you know. Like, what am I doing? Like, my whole life, it, like, I just alienated everybody. And he just began to get energy and energized and he started to reach out to people and evangelize and read the Bible and you know eventually became a great saint okay now the thing about Francis was he was he was preaching he wanted to be a martyr do you understand he wanted to convert the Muslims that's what he was all about that was his passion his dream I want to convert the Muslims that was his dream. He, he was like a prisoner of the Muslims. He evangelized. He preached to these guys. And, and he was very effective. Okay, <clears throat> now, he eventually gets sick and dies, a young man, and he receives the wounds of Christ before he died. Why? Because he stripped naked in front of the bishop? No. No because he was talking to a cross and a cross was talking back to him. No, no. He received the stigmata because he went to evangelize the Muslims, okay? He was willing to die for Jesus Christ. He was willing to lay down his life to be an evangelist to the Muslims with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And he was disappointed that he didn't die a martyr. That's the truth about Francis of Assisi. Do you ever hear the Franciscans talking about converting Muslims? Do you ever hear that? I am a graduate of Franciscan University of Steubenville, a Franciscan college, and that's where I learned about St. Francis of Assisi at Franciscan University of Steubenville. That's where. And that's where I learned about that. Now, what has the Franciscan community done today? What are they doing today? Okay. <clears throat> They're promoting this image. This is the talking Jesus that has a phallic symbol on his stomach. 
that led Francis to take off all his clothes in front of his parents and the bishop, embarrass and humiliate his family. And it led him to living in caves, okay? Now, the image is inappropriate. There's a phallic symbol on it. That is not Christian. Anyone who has any education in Christianity knows the phallic symbol is not a Christian symbol, period. Someone, the artist put a phallic symbol on that because he was not a Christian, clearly. Phallic worship has to do with, um, what does it have to do with? Look it up. I mean, it was a fertility thing. For some, it was a good luck charm for fertility. It's clearly, you know, worshiping a phallic. I mean, come on, guys. I don't want to go into that. All I'm saying is it's there. And there's other, it's still worship. People worship the phallic today. It's nothing new here. But they put it, they try to infiltrate Christianity with the phallic symbol. And Francis said, get rid of this cross. It was hidden for 700 years. Okay, he didn't want anyone to see that thing. Are you kidding me? Last, least likely the Muslims. He didn't want to. He didn't bring that over to show the Sultan this phallic symbol of Jesus Christ. No. So why are we? Why are the Franciscans promoting this image when Francis had it hidden for seven hundred years? Who who took it out of hiding in 1957 and and mass produced this thing? Anybody out there who's making these phallic Jesuses and calling themselves Catholic, forget it. It's an offense. No one saw it. No one saw this. And Michael Colossi broke it 10 years ago, rape of the soul. Okay, and he's, as far as I can tell, in hiding. Okay. Now, the Franciscans were just three of them charged with covering up pedophilia. In Altoona, Johnstown, TORs, three of them, the head of the orders, you understand, if the head of the orders was protecting this guy, you know everyone else there was protecting this guy. And don't tell me that the TORs in Loretto, 20 minutes away, didn't know that this guy, Baker, was a, a pedophile. And for their namesake of Franciscans, they should have been all over that. And those are the same guys that feed Franciscan University. So I don't want to hear it. It's a disgrace. Then Franciscan University promotes Joel Wright to the priesthood, to the seminary. And he goes to San Diego and to attempt to go to Mexico before, right a week before the Pope tries to get there to, ba to buy a baby for sex. The Franciscans have a lot to deal with. And the first thing they got to deal with is take this cross down from your buildings. In Hollidaysburg at that monastery where they were protecting Baker, the pedophile who eventually killed himself, they got at least, I, I saw five of them within a minute, within 10 minutes. Franciscan University of Steubenville, they're all over the campus, all over. Now I noticed they took it down from their website, good. But guys, come completely clean. Do you understand? You have got to come clean you have got to get refocused on evangelizing like your founder Francis did. He was about evangelizing Muslims. You guys need to embrace the mission of evangelizing Muslims. That's what G Francis was called to do. Okay? Yes, he was nice to animals. Guess what? We have plenty of people who are nice to animals now. You don't need to do that. Oh, well, uh, Francis was a beggar. You want to beg? You don't want to preach the gospel. You just want to go around and beg. Okay? Francis was not just a beggar. Do you understand? He evangelized Muslims. That's what he was doing. We need to evangelize Muslims. They're, they have rejected Jesus Christ as the Savior of the world. They missed somewhere along the line, okay? Mary, they honor Mary, but they don't worship Jesus Christ, the Son of God. 
Okay, that's a problem. Now, ISIS just burned a bunch of Bibles today. It came out, CNN. All right, check that out. Okay, so the Franciscans have gotten so far astray. Okay, Franciscan University, I love the school. Okay, I'm a graduate. I have children that attend the school. I love the kids that come there. They're beautiful. They're wonderful. But they don't know anything about politics. They don't know anything about the world. Okay? They're just fed these fairy tales. These fairy tales about the saints. But they don't know how to, to react in the world. They don't know how to evangelize. You might have a few that come out of there that are evangelists. You know, I'm a graduate. Okay? But I'm saying the majority of these kids are just not equipped to evangelize. They're not. And, you know, so the Franciscans. Now, I know Benedict Rochelle, he, he had to start a whole new order, Franciscan Friars of the Renewal, okay, because he couldn't find legitimate Francis anywhere. So he starts a Franciscan Friars of Renewal. Now, as far as I know, they're doing the right thing. They're evangelizing. They're not shrinking back, okay? I mean, as far as I know. But outside of the Franciscan Friars of the Renewal, I don't know any Franciscans who are doing what Francis said to do, and that is directly evangelize the culture and to evangelize Muslims. That's what Francis did. And there are still Muslims in the world, and the situation has not changed. They still do not accept Jesus Christ, true God, true man. They do not accept him, true God, true man. So it's only going to get worse. It's only going to get worse. If you're covering up for pedophiles and you are encouraging pedophiles to become priests, okay, and I know these are harsh words, but this is the truth. This is what happened. So you can claim ignorance or you can claim what? How can you deal with that? Oh, it was another house. Hey, guys, TORs means TORs. And there's TORs from the Holidays Burke teaching at Franciscan University. I'm so upset. I am so upset. I couldn't be more upset about this. Take the cross down. Regroup. Regroup. You guys have got to regroup because you are not helping. You're clearly not helping to uh, save America. Okay? The hostility towards Donald Trump is unbelievable. And the guy, all he wants to do is protect Christianity in America. And the American people, and there's such hostility towards him, that should tell you something. Oh, he's married three times. It's the year of mercy, everybody. Donald Trump's married three times. It's the year of mercy. Everybody's forgiven. Donald Trump is horrible. You, you see what I'm saying? You're talking out of both sides of your mouth. I beg you, please, for the sake of the body of Christ. Take the image down. Regroup. Refocus on evangelization. Take the Blessed Virgin Mary. Put her in the forefront of this evangelization. Hit the streets. Do what you got to do to turn this thing around. Please, For the in the name of Francis, I beg you in the name of St. Francis, for his name's sake, Please.